What is the ideal male physique? Which body type is the most attractive? And how do physique preferences differ across the world? Welcome to the Gymnazo channel. If you want the answer to these questions and want to know more about improving your body, health and fitness, then smash the subscribe button, ding the notification bell and find out more. Let's get into it. In the quest for physical perfection, ideals of male body physiques have evolved dramatically throughout history and vary across cultures. From chiseled Greek statues to the modern day embrace of dad bods, societal preferences have shifted, showcasing the beauty of diverse body types. Let's take a whimsical and informative journey through time and around the world to explore the ever-changing standards of male ideals. We'll begin in ancient Greece. Chiseled gods and marble statues, our tale begins in ancient Greece where sculptors celebrated the male form with their masterpieces. Adonis-like bodies characterised by well-defined muscles and symmetrical proportions were highly admired. Men sought to emulate these statues, prompting hilarious incidents of individuals attempting to flex and pose like these immortalised physiques. Scientists speculate that the abundance of olive oil used by Greeks might have contributed to the glistening appeal of these statues. We can now look at the preferences of the Renaissance era. A plump renaissance for body positivity. Fast forward to the Renaissance era where a more rounded body took the spotlight. Artists like Rubens painted portraits showcasing men with voluptuous figures, reflecting a shift towards a plumper ideal. The belief was that fuller physique signified wealth and prosperity, with the ample belly considered a symbol of success and indulgence. Imagine the joy of feasting your eyes on art that celebrates a more generous love for pasta and pizza. The Victorian era brought about stiff collars and a gentlemanly physique. With the Victorian era came a renewed emphasis on manners and moral virtues. The ideal male physique was defined by a slender, well-groomed appearance, as physical strength was considered less important than refined behaviour. Men wore corsets and tailored suits, emphasising a straight and narrow waistline. Oh, the lengths they went in order to appear prim and proper. Imagine sneezing while wearing a corset. Talk about explosive fashion sense. And then forward to the 20th century. From Charles Atlas to Arnold Schwarzenegger. In the 20th century, the emergence of fitness culture influenced male physique ideals significantly. Charles Atlas, the iconic bodybuilder, became a symbol of physical prowess and inspired many to strive for muscular physiques. And then came Arnold Schwarzenegger, who took bodybuilding to new heights, both literally and figuratively. Muscularity and size became the epitome of masculinity, with weightlifting and intense workouts gaining popularity. The era of pumping iron had begun, leaving many with the desire to be back after a leg day. And forward to the modern day, where there is now an emphasis in some way on the dad bod. Some would say a refreshing shift has occurred, celebrating diversity and challenging the notion of a single ideal male physique. The rise of the dad bod trend, characterised by a softer, less chiselled appearance, has gained popularity. This body type signifies a balance between fitness and indulgence, and it has been embraced as an attractive and relatable alternative to the hyper-ripped aesthetic. Who doesn't appreciate a bit of extra fluff and the occasional pizza slice? Preferences for the ideal male physique can vary across countries and cultures. It's important to note that these preferences are not universal and can be influenced by cultural, historical and individual factors. Here are a few examples of male physique preferences from different parts of the world. The United States and Western cultures. In Western culture, particularly in the States, there has been a historical emphasis on muscularity and a lean physique. The ideal male body often includes a muscular chest, broad shoulders, well-defined abs and a V-tapered waist. This preference has been shaped by media representations of muscular male actors, athletes and fitness models. Over to Brazil and Latin America. In countries like Brazil, there is a cultural preference for a lean, athletic and toned physique. A balanced blend of muscularity with an emphasis on the chest, arms and abdominals is often admired. However, there is also an appreciation for a more natural and less extreme look compared to the hyper-muscular ideals seen in some other cultures. 
led east to Japan and East Asia. In Japan and other East Asian countries, a slender and lean physique is often considered attractive. The ideal male body is typically characterized by a slim waist, minimal body fat, and a toned but not overly muscular appearance. A more androgynous aesthetic, referred to as pretty boy or flower boy style, has gained popularity, emphasizing a softer and more youthful look. Next, West Africa. In some West African cultures, a larger and more robust physique is often considered attractive. The ideal male body may involve a combination of muscularity, physical strength and a fuller physique. This preference can be related to cultural values of health, vitality and social status. And finally, we fly to the Middle East. In certain Middle Eastern cultures, there is a preference for a more solid and muscular build. Broad shoulders, well-developed arms and chest and a trim waistline are often sought after. However, always remember it's important to know that there can be variations within the region due to different cultural and individual preferences. It is crucial to remember that these are generalisations and individual preferences within each culture can vary significantly. Moreover, societal ideals and male physique preferences are not static and can change over time due to shifts in media representation, fashion trends and evolving beauty standards. Before we reach our conclusion, whilst the science of attractiveness does point towards strength, size and symmetry, I think it's clear that proportions are possibly the ideal characteristic that people look for. There is also a direct link between male testosterone and body type. You will hear people speak about the golden ratio in regards to attractiveness. The golden ratio is a mathematical concept often referred to as the divine proportion or phi. The golden ratio is approximately 1.62 and is found by dividing a line into two parts with the ratio of the whole line to the longer segment being the same as the ratio of the longer segment to the shorter segment. This ratio is believed to be aesthetically pleasing which has been associated with beauty and harmony in various fields including art, architecture and nature. While the golden ratio has been applied to various aspects of aesthetics including body proportions, its relevance to attractiveness and physical attractiveness is debated. There is no universally agreed upon or scientifically validated standard for the ideal golden ratio in terms of body proportions or attractiveness. Beauty is subjective and influenced by cultural, personal and individual factors, making it challenging to define a universal standard based on mathematical proportions. To conclude, from the days of Greek gods to the modern day embrace of the Dapod, male physique ideals have journeyed through numerous transformations. Cultures and eras have shaped and reshaped what society perceives as attractive. The lesson we learn from this whimsical exploration is that beauty truly is subjective and ever-changing. Embracing diverse body types and celebrating individuality is a step towards a more inclusive and body positive world. So whether you've got six pack abs, a dad bod or something entirely different, remember to embrace your unique physique, laugh at the quirks of history and stay fabulously you. If I may quote the great Dave Grohl, no one is you and that is your power. Just strive to be in the best physical shape that you can be and that will be attractive. Guys, thank you for watching. Pleasure as always. Let me know what is your dream physique and for any ladies watching, what you prefer yourselves. Please subscribe if you like the content and I'll see you again on the next one. Stay strong.